And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor and today I'm looking at this. So this is the triple rectifier by the official Mesa Boogie uh, triple rectifier in Amplitude 5. Um, and if you're watching this currently in a month of April 2021, this is free. So if you download the, the custom shop, uh, Amplitude custom shop, sort of free version, CS version, um, of Amplitude, uh, you can download this for free and it's yours to keep. So uh, big thank you to the awesome people at Amplitude uh, and Alchem Multimedia. I should mention, uh, this is uh, somewhat sponsored by them. They gave me uh, an Amplitude 5 Max uh, for free. I'm not paid for it, but they gave me the whole software for free and I'm just checking it out. They didn't ask me to make this video. I just thought I'd check it out because uh, it's currently free and I haven't, I'm not a Mesa Boogie guy, so I'm, I haven't really tried, even really tried this out. I strummed a few chords on a few presets and that's about it. So what I'm doing today is I've got this uh, 1978 Greco EG500. I think it's an EG500. Uh, there's a video for it here. Uh, and it's got Fishman uh, Fluence classic humbuckers in it. And I really dig this guitar at the moment. Um, and that goes via the green cable straight into my Audient ID44 interface into the high Z or high Z or DI input up the front. There's all these impedance things with that. And there's actually a video I did um, here and it's linked down below as well uh, about impedance and all that sort of stuff and why things may sound different to the way you hear it when I do it. Um, so from the ID44 interface, it goes straight into Logic. And uh, then actually, let's do this. Let's first turn it off. And this is what it sounds like on a bridge pickup. Uh, everything bypasses. This is just a guitar going directly into Logic uh, with an E chord. It sounds like this. It's just super dry, direct sound. There's nothing else in between. Now, uh, all I did was I selected, uh, so I'll do it again just to, so you go into Amplitude Collections up here, you click on Amplitude Mesa Boogie, uh, and then Triple Gain, that's the one I went for, that's a triple rectifier. The only thing I do is I turn a, uh, I'll put volume down a bit, because to me it's, they're very loud and they clip things, so uh, I'm turning it down, I don't know, it's about there somewhere. Uh, okay, and let's see what it sounds like. This is, this is the preset, triple rectifier, and it sounds like this. Oh, hey, hang on, hey, I gotta turn it on. And it sounds like this. Okay, so this is a preset that has uh, this diode overdrive. Let's turn it off. And it also has this reverb, but a digital reverb um, and we're using the uh, uh, Mesa Boogie 4x12 Recto traditional slant cabinet so these are the cabinets the official Mesa Boogie cabinets that come in the collection um, so these are the amps you get a dual rectifier mark 3 mark 4 transatlantic and triple rectifier the free thing I think only applies to the triple rectifier I don't think you get all the other amps uh, not sure about speakers you I'd say, I'd imagine you probably get one of the speakers with it, Do you have the one that goes with it, I don't know. So this is a 4x12 uh, rectifier cabinet and it's mic'd up with an 87 and a 57 and we've got 87 um, for the room mic as well. Um, so I turn off the reverb, I turn off the drive, this is what it sounds like. We're in channel 3 in a modern setting, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So I believe the diode drive and the digital reverb are free in a free thing as well. So this whole preset, I think you get for free. Um, okay, let's look at the amp. Uh, basically, we've got three channels. We've got channel three, channel two, and channel one. You click on the little channel and light bulby thingy and that changes the channels. Uh, channel two and channel three sound very similar. I don't know if they're actually the same thing on a proper triple rectifier or not. Uh, but they're just two similar sort of sounding distortion channels uh, with three different voicings. So you've got a raw voicing, a vintage voicing, and a modern voicing on both of them. And each and a clean channel has a clean and a pushed. And then each channel has uh, bass, mids, and treble, uh, a presence, a master volume, and a gain. Um, so let's just check out the let's check it out. So this is full gain. Uh, on channel three. 
So that's on a modern setting. Let's see what what is a what raw setting. Okay, uh, that sounds very very different. That's gain all the way up. Okay, uh, vintage. <laughs> So modern sounds a bit more boosted and maybe less bottom end, maybe. Um... More gain, more volume, yeah. Uh, and I think, I just had a very quick look at it before, but if you put that at the same settings, uh, it's hard to see with these knobs actually. Uh, but if you put them in the same settings, I think they sound pretty much identical. So I guess they're the same, but you just select different a different thing. So uh, let's just go back to this. Let's check out, so if we turn the gain down, how... So it goes almost clean. I wonder if it does that on an actual rectifier. What does back do? Oh, you can go to the back. Ooh. I haven't even seen this. So you can go silicon diodes rectifier or vacuum tube rectifier. In the power spongy or bold. Oh, and you can change the tubes. Well, who would have thought? So EL34s and 6L6s. I probably like the 6L6s better. I definitely like the silicon diets better. That makes very little difference to me. Maybe bold. There's a fuse too, can I change it? No. Uh, that's cool. I don't think any of the, or can the other amps do that too? Is that something I completely missed? Uh, okay. That's got more. That sounds good. That sounds much better, actually. And there's a little bit of room sound you can hear. That's from those speakers. You can technically, um, that room sound, you can dampen it more. Or you can completely mute the room sound. But to me, a lot of times, the room sound adds just a bit of more reality to it. It's just a little bit of almost reverb kind of thing. Um, okay, that sounds good. Now the question is, if I go to channel two and go to the back, can I change that for, like can I make channel two EL34s? And then I go to channel three, No, it's still the 34s Okay, so that's a global setting. Okay, so you can't set it channel, but I guess you can have different presets. You don't need to go channel to channel. Sounds cool. Okay, so that's channel three. Let's um, maybe a bit more treble, a bit more presence. It's a big sound. Okay, now let's go to channel two and let's try vintage setting on channel two and see what it sounds like. It's a bit smoother, maybe. Um, it's scooped as well. Maybe let's push the mids a bit on that. D definitely different. Yeah, let's turn the master up on that a bit just to get the volume the same.
Sounds great. And I haven't even done anything to speak yet, and I mean, that's a massive part of the whole thing. Okay, let's quickly check out channel one. Uh, the clean sound. Which are very quiet. Um... So if I crank the gain on channel one on the clean setting. Uh, so like a... Does, it does it's a bit blown out with the master and a uh, oh yeah let's see what it sounds like pushed that's a cool sound actually I quite like that sound. So I've got three sounds I like. So I've got channel one is is, is this, like a nice clean. Actually go in the middle. Maybe a bit much bass. Channel 2, which is like a vintage crunch. Something like that. And then channel 3 is the more high gain. Let's use this just because it's there. A diode overdrive. Distortion's all the way down. So this is like Troop Screamer esque kind of vibe. <laughs> Sounds cool. Okay, let's try the same thing, channel two. Sounds cool. And channel one with the boost. Sounds great. Um, okay, and we haven't even looked at the speakers yet. And let's add some of that reverb. I quite like actually channel two, sounds really cool. Let's add, uh, actually, let's add a delay, uh, digital delay. What about that one? Let's add that one into the effects loop as well. Stick that there. Well, how's this? Let's go for that one. That sounds cool. Uh, okay, let's go to the highest game chart. Sounds 
sounds good. Maybe the delay is a bit, maybe make it a bit longer. Let's go. Sounds cool. Okay, let's play around. Let's maybe turn the delay off and a reverb off for now. Uh, let's play around with the uh, microphones and stuff. I mean, you can make a massive difference uh, by changing microphones. That's an, I don't know if I need to change anything. That sounds great. But let's just for the for the sake of it. Okay, so let's go. Let's try, for example, ribbon one twenty one. Much darker instantly. Can I put that closer? Oh no, that is as close as it goes. Let's try uh, 414. <laughs> That sounds killer in my opinion. I mean, you can change things around if you want to, but why would you? It sounds good. <laughs> Does this have a noise gate on the amp? No, it doesn't have a noise on the back. Because a lot of the other high gain amps have it. No, but this one doesn't. Okay, cool. <laughs> quite like that sound. Now let's try that with a seven string. So this is a lovely Ormsby Hype GTR7. Uh, big thank you to the awesome people at Ormsby for sending this out to me. Uh, and I'm currently tuned to drop G sharp. Oh yeah. <laughs> So this is, it's a bit muddy to me. Uh, let's bring the tone up a bit. Okay, let's go back to the modern channel. Maybe drop the gain down a bit. Instead of using that diode um, distortion, let's try a tube screamer like the. Oh, what happened? Over scream, where did it go? Okay, let's turn that down.
actually more... Everyone always goes, you know, scoop the mids for metal, but to me, more mids actually sounds better. <laughs> Dude, sorry, I'm, I'm just not a metal guy. I think it sounds good. I like it. Um, I mean, you can... With the Amplitube, uh, I mean, I don't know if I should re even really get into it, but you can even change the speakers, you know. Um, so these, this quad box has four vintage 30s in it, but you've got all these here, you know. So for example, you can, one of them, that's this one, let's change it, exchange it for Brit Darkness. <laughs> I guess it depends on how much of that. Oh, they're pa slightly panned, so that's this one now. So if we solo that, I mean, it's it's almost limitless, you know. California red. I'm always a fan of greenbacks. And it, by having the two blend together. Uh, EV darkness. Whoops. Daryl Panther. I mean, it's limitless what you can do with it. I think it sounds really good. Um, you can change, I mean, you can muck around with the EQ. I, I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to metal stuff and with Mesa Boogies. I've never kind of gotten along with Mesa Boogies, but. To me, that sounds pretty good. Even 
the vintage channel. Well, I almost like the vintage channel better. <laughs> That was a quick look uh, of someone who doesn't know what he's doing uh, at the Mesa Boogie Triple Rectifier in IK Multimedia. I think it sounds killer. Um, big thank you once again to the awesome people at IK Multimedia for um, giving me pretty much full access to all the IK Multimedia stuff and giving me a full version of uh, Ampertube 5 Max. Uh, also check out, I did a video on the SLO Soldano, which is here. Uh, if there's any other particular um, amps or amp collections you want me to look at. I just filmed a, a, a Amplitude Orange collection, Orange collection, so I went through all the amps, uh, which is coming out soon. Uh, if there's any other particular amps in Amplitude that you want me to run through, or if you want me to do this with particular speakers, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Uh, the more thumbs up you give us, uh, the algorithms will work in better ways and more people will see this stuff and the more people will see this stuff, the more access we have to things and the more access we have to things, the more videos we can do and so on and so on. So if you like what we do, please make sure to uh, hit the, the thumbs up button. Uh, yeah, and thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.